हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट टू इंटीग्रल पुलीज आर सब्जेक्टेड टू द बेल्ट टेंशन शोन एंड इट इज सेड दैट इफ द रिजल्टेंट आर ऑफ दिस फोर्स इज पासिस थ्रू द सेंटर ओ डिटरमाइन टी वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड दिस टेंशन टी एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ R and the counterclockwise angle theta it makes with the x-axis is right. So we have to find this tension T and the resultant of these are forces, and we have to find the angle of that resultant with the x-axis is right, and that that angle need to be measured counterclockwise, right? So the condition is given that if the resultant R of these forces passes through the center O, so if the resultant of these uh, four forces passes through that point O, so then the moment at point o need to be zero right so what we need to do is that we will find the moment of these four forces and then we will equate that equal to zero and that will give us this tension t in this cable right now let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so as we can see that this 200 newton force is producing clockwise moment about that point o so i will write minus 200 and the perpendicular distance of this 200 from that point o is this 200 mm the radius of this outer pulley right so this is a uh, 200 divided by 1000 so this is 0.2 and as we can see that this uh, 150 newton force is producing counter clockwise moment about this point o so we will write plus 150 and the perpendicular distance of this 150 newton force is again this 200 mm right so i will write 0.2 meters and similarly as we can see that this 160 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about uh, counter clockwise moment about that point o so we will write plus and this will be 160 and the perpendicular distance of this 160 N force from that point o is the radius of this inner pulley right so this is 100 mm so 100 mm divided by 1000 will be 0.1 meters and here as we can see that this tension t and this cable is producing clockwise moment about that point o so we will write minus t and the perpendicular distance of this t from that point o is again the radius of this inner pulley which is 100 mm so 100 divided by 1000 is again 0.1 meters so this will be equal to 0 according to this condition the resultant is passing through point o so the moment will be equal to 0 and if we bring this uh, t term to the other side of the equation so this will be equal to this thing right so when we solve this so t into 0.1 equals to 6 and t equals to 60 newton now we know this tension t so this tension t is equal to 60 newton now we will find the resultant magnitude right so for that uh, we will find the our x component of the resultant and our x component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all forces along x and the our y component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all forces along y right so for that we will resolve these two forces into its components right so this uh, 160 newton force will have one component in this direction in the negative x direction right so this component and it will have one component in the positive y direction right so these are the two components of this 160 newton force and similarly uh, this uh, tension t this 60 newton force will have two components as well right so it will have one component which will be acting in the negative x and it will have one component which will be acting in the positive y direction right so this one will be the cos component of this 160 so we can write that this is 160 cos of 30 degrees and this one will be 160 sin of 30 degrees similarly this one will be 60 uh, cos of 30 degrees and this one will be 60 sin of 30 degrees so now our x will be equal to so this 200 newton force is acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus 200 this 150 newton force is again acting in positive x so we will write plus 150 and this cos component is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 160 cos of 30 degrees and this one is also minus 60 cos
cos of 30 degrees similarly r y will be equal to the summation of all forces along y so this one 60 sin of 30 is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus 160 sin of 30 degrees and this sine component is also acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus 60 sine of 30 degrees so this gives us our x equals to 159.47 newtons and our y is equal to 110 newton so to find the resultant magnitude that will be equal to our x square plus our y square and this is square root so r will be equal to 159.47 whole square plus 110 square and this is 0.47 square right so this the resultant magnitude comes out to be 193.7 newton right this means that the our x is also acting in the positive x direction and our y is also acting in the uh, positive y direction so we can represent that resultant in this free body diagram and that resultant is passing through this point o so our x is acting in the positive x direction this is 159.47 this is our x and similarly our y is acting in the positive y direction and this will be the resultant which will be passing through this point o right so this is that resultant so now uh, we are also required to find this theta right with this positive x axis and this angle or need to be measured that is counterclockwise right so this is the theta so now we can apply tan theta to this triangle so tan theta will be equal to this component is r y right so this is r y so this will be r y divided by r x similarly theta will be equal to tan inverse and r y is 110 and our x is 159.47 so this will give us theta which will be equal to 34.6 degrees right so this is the resultant magnitude which is 193.7 newtons and this is the resultant which is making 34.6 degrees and this angle is measured counterclockwise from this positive x axis right so this is the solution of this problem